Now that you've covered the first two steps in the Kaplan Method for Science, let's work on getting some points. The ACT science test, like the reading test, is designed so that the answers to the questions are in the passage. Once you've read the question, all you need to do is check the passage, make a prediction, and find your prediction among the answer choices. You've seen this passage before, but let's review the purpose, methods, and results of both experiments. The purpose of experiments one and two is to examine the effect of light on bat behavior in groups and in isolation. The method of experiment one was to place 25 groups of six bats in simulated caves where a three minute beam of light was sent twice a night and repeated 21 times over three weeks at varying times. What are the results? None of the bats responded. Let's briefly review experiment two. The method of experiment two was to separate 25 bats into 25 separate caves and expose them to the same light and the same intervals as experiment one. What were the results? 18 bats were extremely responsive and seven bats even tried to escape the research environment. Now let's take a look at a question. According to the passage, the bats responded to a beam of light when, before you look at the answer choices, look at the notes you've made about the passage. In which experiment did the bats respond to the light? The starred results for each paragraph indicate that the bats responded to the light in experiment two. What's the difference between experiment one and two? Right, the bats were isolated in experiment two. Now go through the choices, eliminating the wrong answers. Only choice C can be correct. The paragraph about experiment two tells you that when the bats were isolated in separate caves, they responded to the light. Great, now let's try another one. Which of the following factors was intentionally varied in experiment one and experiment two? To answer this question, you need to revisit the lines you placed a bracket around in each experiment, describing the method used in each. Okay, now that you've looked at the two methods again, what was the difference between them? Or the independent variable? That's right. The only difference was whether the bats were isolated or in groups when exposed to light. Which answer choice matches this? J. The number of bats exposed to light is correct. Great job! Although going back to the passage may feel like it takes a lot of time, it will actually help you get the right answer more efficiently and effectively than going straight to the answer choices. Remember, just like in critical reading, the answer is always in the passage. Now apply this in some guided practice. 